Now that we have created our chart, let's move and resize our chart so that it's not blocking our table. I'm going to point here to the upper corner of my chart. You'll notice that my mouse turned into a four-sided arrow. Once I have that, I'm going to hold down the left mouse button and I can drag my chart to where I want it to appear within my worksheet. Once I have it where I want it, I'm going to let go and that places my chart inside of my worksheet. Now that I have my chart positioned where I want it, I'm going to move the width of it. So I'm going to point here to the right side and you'll notice that my arrow has changed. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag it till it touches column G. Then I'll let go and you'll notice that it resized my chart. I can position the pointer over the upper middle sizing handle to where I get the up and down arrow. And I can change the top border of the chart to the top edge of row 15. Because you notice right now I'm just below it. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to get right to 15. So I'm right at the top of 15 and I'm right to the edge of G. I can also change my bottom border. I can hold it down and I can bring it up to the bottom of 26. So I can manipulate my chart to make it the exact size that I want it. Next, I can come up to my chart layouts and I can select quick layouts button and I can determine which layout I want and if you'll notice as you point to them it changes your chart so that you can view what it's going to look like before you actually select it. I'm going to select chart layout 1. I'm going to click that layout. Next I'm going to click the legend to select it. This is my legend so I'm going to select legend I'm going to press and hold the shift key and I'm going to drag the legend up using that four-sided arrow outline to approximately a quarter inch above the top of the plot area. Then I'll release the shift. So I'm going to hold down my shift key. I get my four-sided arrow. I'm going to move my legend up and then let go. Next, I want to click inside of cell A12. And instead of it saying USA, and you'll notice here in my chart it says USA, I'm going to click and type United States. You'll notice that it's in my cell, but it hasn't appeared on my chart. Once I click the Enter button, it now changes in the chart as well as here in my data column. Make sure you save your work. Once you've moved and resized your chart, you can also change the chart design. You're not set in stone. You can always modify it. At this point, I'm going to select cell D11. I'm going to change the value of D11 and you'll notice that my chart changes as I do. I'm also going to change D12. And you'll notice that both columns changed. I can select the chart by clicking in a blank area. And you'll notice once I do that, I now have chart tools. Here inside the Chart Tools Design tab, I can click the Quick Layout button and I can change it to Layout 3. If I decide I don't like the way that looks, I can always click Undo. I can also click Change Chart Type button in the Type group. Here's the type grouping. I can do change chart type and it brings up a dialog box. From here, I can select bar 
and I can tell it OK. And you notice that it has changed the way my chart looks. I can click the Change Chart Type button again. This time I can change it to Column. I can tell it I want it to be a 3D cluster. And I can say OK. And you see how that changes it as well. I can also change it back to just a cluster column. I can say OK. And if I want to, I can go back to Quick Styles and I can change it to the style that I want there. Make sure you save your work when you've gotten it the way you want it before you submit it.